that it essentially turns Ashes of Creation's control scheme into an action style game. A game like Black Desert, a game like New World. <laughs> You're just as funny as... I could have sworn you just compared this to Black Deserts. Let's just... Let's just... Let's, let's back that up for a minute. I just wanted to make sure that what you weren't doing was comparing what's happening on this screen with Black Desert Online. Okay, so there's a new race reveal um, in Ashes of Creation. Uh, and I wanted to take a look at that too. So we're going to look at this. So with this month's live stream, um, this is, this is Narc. He, he basically covers Ashes of Creation as like a full-time job. Um, and the game isn't even released yet, which is kind of crazy. I, it's insane how much content this man is able to make out of a game that hasn't been released. It's actually insane. The guy's a unit. Okay, I love this guy. Stream approaching, it's time we scrape together the lowest quality content to try and speculate on our subject matter. Yes, that's right, you've tuned into a corpse of a channel desperately trying to make content for a game that quite literally doesn't exist. <laughs> what he said. <laughs> what, what he said. What he said, man. He's trying, bro. What he said. Dist. But before we get into that, our beautiful patrons and coped out the wazoo Twitch subs and I would love for you to grab yourself a super killer because actually we know exactly what this month's him. showcase is because, well, Steven told us. And today I'm going to relay that to you. Whoa. Um... Oh, that's the official Ashes of Creation, like, dev team commenting on his video. Hey, Nark, great video once again. Would like to address the concerns uh, about using console commands during the showcase of our commissions in Dynamic World. Sometimes in order to demonstrate these systems that require larger groups of players to be playing within the area, we have to trigger a code through a console command. As for the area, we didn't go into it at, at the end. This is Oakenbane Keep, uh, which was shown off a bit uh, in the first tank playthrough over a year ago, and we will be showing off some more this next month with a fighter update. Ooh, pog -on. Relay that to you with a bunch of bullshit- The pizza box is brother juice. Slapped on top so I can hit that juicy eight minute mark for ad revenue. Now, with all that bollocks out of the way, let's begin, shall we? So this month, the fighter is in the spotlight. One of the most popular classes in- the warrior literal gaming history so yeah. you bet your ass intrepid have a pretty exciting showcase planned for us or you know it the interesting thing about warriors it kind of sets the tone for the rest of the mmo right guys um if the warrior does not have like super smooth solid gameplay you can kind of just assume that the rest of the classes are also going to suck uh in black desert our warrior flows like it feels like a swiss army knife in awakening you can do so much stuff and then in succession um, it's just like a simplified version, but it's just so crisp uh, and clean. It's not the crispest class, you know, it's kind of rough around the edges, but like it sets the tone for the rest of the classes in the game because it's so well-rounded. It'll be a male human yeah, the guy with the big sword swinging master the great sword exactly. around, and we can spend another month wondering if this game is a goddamn scam, but I digress. Breaking news, breaking news. Stephen Sharif has announced on Twitter that we will be seeing more than... Is that the sword? That's it? That's the sword? I... I just... I do want to be... Okay, because like, this is its competition. Look how much bigger that sword is. Which one would you rather play? And that's just Black Desert, man. Like, bro, if you're... <laughs> All right, we'll see. Uh, I'll let him cook. Let him cook. Just a human fighter this month. We will be getting the reveal of the Renkai race for the first time in Ashes of Creation history. Oh, my God. I'm just... <laughs> In addition to this, Steven also revealed that alongside the Fighter Showcase, we'll also get to see the story arc they teased at the end of last month's live stream, revealing more. Magneto. Not even... 
Mom, can we have Magneto? No, we have Magneto at home. Magneto at home. Of that finite content that we'll be participating in during Alpha 2, but don't worry about that. We don't want spoilers, do we guys? We want Intrepid to reveal every single piece of content in one section of the world, so we already know- It's Magneto with a little Harry Potter wand. It ...like the back of yeah. our hands before Alpha 2 even starts, but I- I don't know about you, but I like my caster to have a nice, thick, big staff, because the wand looks like shit. Some dinky-ass little- Harry Potter pulled it off, the Favada Kadabra thing kind of slapped, but like, I don't know, man, that they had good animations and special effects. I digress. Fighter has been a long-awaited archetype and appeals to 90% of dad gamers out there, so I am excited to okay. see Intrepid's take on this archetype. What's interesting right. is that Intrepid actually revealed the fighter's class mechanic months ago with the name drop of Momentum. What this could be and how this mechanic functions will very much be the bread and butter of the class. That's actually really good because like, if you're gonna create like a good MMO class, it has to be, I say realistic, it is a fantasy game, but it needs to feel realistic. And when you're wielding like a super big sword, the way you swing like a massive sword like this, you don't you don't just swing it like down across your body. You have to like swing through, right? Like you have to like pull it through and like bring up momentum. And like you can literally come up and just like hit him again. You know what I mean? Like you're fighting with momentum because if you're constantly bam, bam, you know what I mean? You're you're gonna exert yourself way more. So like I think that them naming it a momentum mechanic, although I haven't heard anything about it actually kind of a w us and hopefully it tells spin on it tells me that they kind of understand you know what i mean although i will say that the fact that this dude is just walking around like this he's carrying chopsticks or something is a little strange it, that makes ashes like when warrior walks around in bdo he's like lugging this giant sword you know you can get the feel that the sword is heavy that it's big that, look at look at that guy carrying the sword will be the bread and butter of the class and hopefully puts a spin on look it. at look, look at that Looks like a short sword. Like, no, ain't nobody holding that sword like that. That makes Ashes of Creation's version unique and interesting. Although, if the previous class mechanics are anything to go by, it's very likely going to be a bar that goes upwards during combat and then goes downwards when you press buttons. Very riveting indeed. <laughs> but I digress. Because there's more to Ashes of... Why are there three bars, man? You got your HP, you got your mana, and then you got your... Because you know that's not stamina. You know that's not stamina, that's just another resource. Fitting indeed. But I digress. Because there's more to Ashes of Creation's combat systems that meets the eye. Stamina has always been the world planned looks really for good. Ashes of Creation. And what better class... Maybe it is stamina. ...to reveal it on than the fighter itself. But there's no reason for me to explain it when Mr. Stephen Sharif himself can do it for us. There is intended to be an interaction between different types of reactive and predictive skill sets of which it oh god the world looks great let's just focus on the positives guys let like the world looks great however the textures in combat and stuff like this i expect that from a 2012 mmo like but pre bdo you know what i mean like bdo had better graphics than this when it came out if a player or animations. is in a state such as an active block or an active tumble state, there will likely be some types of abilities that interact with uh, reacting to those types of states. It looks and so unpolished. Yeah, well, I mean, it's 10 years out, so. Cancel out those states, uh, particularly as it relates to not just active blocking, but also potentially passive blocking as well. You're not right sure now. if the final answer is that we will have active blocking yeah, I, or I not. Just, well, I just had a discussion with the combat team last week uh, mm -hmm. with Trad and with Brian about um, how we're going to implement the active blocking into the Alpha 2 kits. And that is something we are moving forward with try. right now. That's going to be tested with a stamina-based system, which is universal energy, of course, across all the different classes. And yeah, that'll be something we showcase in a future in a future live stream, I think. Right okay. now, it's very much in development. Interesting indeed. And although I'm not a fan... Interesting. ...of active blocking, I am open to change my mind with an interesting... It's weird that they're just starting work on, like, the blocking stuff now. Wouldn't you, like, already have that mapped out in, like, the planning phase? Like, isn't that, like, part of, like, when you're developing frontal guards and super armors and how things are gonna work? 
or like how your combat system is going to work. Um, couldn't you like talk about active blocking and how that's going to work? I don't know. Like, oof. resource type system governing yeah, Aradrill, exactly. combat utilities such as sprinting, blocking, and dodging to add genuine depth, skill, and meaning to the moment to moment gameplay. Or I want you guys to compare what is happening on your screen right now to a warrior grind at Giffen Raza Temple in Black Desert. Or at Olin's. It's a, we want to do rock golems at Olin's. Tell me which one looks more engaging. Or it'll just it's not, it's not even it's not even remotely close. But the combat is just not there. It's not even like it's oh, okay. Just just let him go. Just fall flat and be another puddle deep mechanic like ESO, Guild Wars 2, and New World. But exactly. I digress. Ashes of Creation. That's what I'm concerned about. It's gotten a lot of flack over the years. Many, many people complaining about the tab style being outdated. However, tab style is fine, but it's still got to be like an action combat y. You could do tab target, but like it's still like the animations have to look crisp. It has to flow really well. Tab targeting can be fast paced. It can be yeah, exactly. skill based and it yeah. can yes, it offer can. highly rewarding moment to moment gameplay. Correct. The perfect game to demonstrate this is World of Warcraft. That is why. It so the bar for your combat system and considering whether it's good is a game that came out in like 2004, right? I'm just making sure that that's that's where we're at. That's the bar, guys. It remains number one still. Classic and even retail have the best combat out there, and it's not. World of Warcraft is an incredible MMO, and it's the reason it dominates the genre. The reason it dominates the genre is not because its combat is state of the art, or because it's engaging. Like, is there skill stuff in, in, involved in the combat? Absolutely, for sure. But like, you compare that to any of the other more recent MMOs. And they have more fluid combat systems. That's not why people are playing World of Warcraft. Not even close. But what about Ashes of Creation? To me, the fighter would be the perfect opportunity to show off some of that fast-paced, skill-focused gameplay, managing your cooldowns, class yep. resource, crowd control, and mobility spells to show off a genuine, exciting sequence. That looks the fighter like a... itself is a frontline That's DPS daggers. brawler, and we've seen. Bro? Hey man, you might want to head for deeper waters, bro. I don't think that your boat's designed to go through a swamp. The dude is literally running aground. Who the hell steered that thing in here? In a couple of the spells that it has in its kit already with that the giant hammer toast, stun Anna. and the whirlwind abilities. Clearly. Like the, it's like the cost of Concordia, man. Like, and how are we going to perform this crazy, like, maneuver? No, we're going to eyeball it. The fighter is going to excel in cleaving whilst taking a bunch of punishment in return. So show that off. Ashes of Creation's combat is labeled as hybrid and therefore has two control schemes available to it. Intrepid <laughs> are essentially Active copying sleep. Guild Wars 2's combat with some additional tweaks. So hopefully this month's showcase is primarily focused on that action. Please tell me that Guild Wars 3 is going to get is going to be released before Ashes of Creation. How funny would that be? Because it would absolutely if it's a if it's basically cut and paste from Guild Wars 2 for the combat system, Guild Wars 3 should just blow this game out of the water. Like it, it absolutely should just blow this out of the water because it'll have better combat, right? It'll have everything updated, it'll just be a better Guild Wars 2, presumably, right? And it Ashes will just who? ...style control scheme instead of the tradition. The Riot MMO is going to be released before the Ashes. Um, you should sit down. Um, Riot said that they're going dark on the MMO. Um, there won't be any more updates and development has, for all we know, been halted on it. Or what? Because 90% of audiences don't even understand what it is, and they've been following the game for eight years, making assumptions and spreading misinformation. God forbid they try the game that it's inspired from, am I right, guys? Use it and explain. No, 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 no. It hasn't been canceled. They just went dark on it. I need this. It hasn't been canceled. 
seen what changed. Demonstrate how the keybinds have changed, but please emphasize how the game's targeting and combat remain pretty much almost the same. For anyone who's played Guild Wars 2, they understand that both the combat modes are identical mechanics-wise. But a lot of people don't realize that it essentially turns Ashes of Creation's control scheme into an action-style game. A game like Black Desert, a game like New World. You just as funny as I could have swore you just compared this to Black Deserts. Let's just let's just let's, let's back that up for a minute. I just wanted to make sure that what you weren't doing was comparing what's happening on this screen with Black Desert Online realize that it essentially turns Ashes of Creation's control scheme into an action-style game. A game like Black Desert, a game like New World. But just... Yeah, bro, I mean, you can't even put New World and Black Desert's combat in the same category, bro. They're not, like, separate, like, area. Like, nah, dude. Like, they're just... We're... We are on some... Oh! Holy moly. ...to allow that smooth MMO... He's talking about control scheme, not quality. The control scheme is completely different too. In Black Desert, you're holding down buttons for combos and can cancel and it's very dynamic. In this game, you're dragging things to a hotbar and using them from your number pad. It's completely different. It's completely different. RPG style gameplay, but I digress. Whilst we're on this note, listen, Steve. Yeah, like there's, there's shift F and shift V, right? And there's like shift T and stuff, but it's nowhere near as dynamic as like Black Desert is like, like Shift 7, Shift T, Shift R. He, for all we know, he just like hot barred this because he ran out of numbers, right? That's very likely what happened here. Yeah, there's just keybinds. Exactly. Like, this is just like, again, it's like tab target. He's just clicking a button and then the skill goes off. It's not like Black Desert where you can cancel things and then you're jumping and you're like, some things are protected when you do this, but they're not protected when you do that. They come out faster if you do it before this skill. They're slower if you do them from the hot bar. Like, it's, it's so much more dynamic yeah, than this. My that being said, I can understand what he's saying. It's not he's, what he's trying to do is he's trying to draw the, the distinction between a standard tab target MMO and what's going on in Ashes. And that I think that's fair. And no offense, but you're shit at the game. Please, for the love of God, towards the end of the showcase, when you've shown off all the abilities individually, please pass the controls over to a dev who know how to use the kit to really show off the fighter's potential. Kind of like what they did you did with the major showcase because that was a genuinely great idea and you haven't used it since for some reason anyone who's played some form of high level wow gameplay knows why yeah i mean those animations look like okay but like i expect that in an outdated like old mmo that's been out for six years already it, it, it's playable but like a new mmo <laughs> wow's combat new world has better animations than that is the best but unfortunately you're not showing your combat now the textures in this game and the world look amazing That's strengths to the systems also look great too my biggest gripes are the combat and the graphics which we happen to be i mean the the combat and the like the animations for the combat it's fullest and it happens to be the subject of this video competence or lack of experience but i die dress to conclude today's video, I just want to briefly talk about an observation I made during the PvP Caravan Showcase that made me kind of- They look like a mobile game? No, 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 no. This is a mobile game. This little thing- somehow better graphics are worse combat looks better
kind of interested in the direction you're taking one of the weapons. Obviously, the greatsword is going to be a highly popular weapon, so it's important that you nail the feeling of impact without compromising the smoothness of the gameplay. You first showed us this back in early 2022 with the melee showcase, and I personally thought that you had the greatsword in a really great spot back then. Almost perfect, I'd say. And that perfect. even extends to the dagger animations you showed, by the way. I what? thought you guys had really nailed it. However, I do remember you were saying you were having some issues with the animation side of things towards the bottom half of your characters. That would be the legs for the low IQs out there. That was cool. The part where he like slams it up and then like the hammer, like the, the like, like a something out of Green Lantern slams it, like that was pretty cool. It's clearly extremely difficult to animate and create a combat system that has impact and smoothness for heavy star weapons. This doesn't look like it's got impact. But allow me to show the audience a clip from that PvP caravan up, showcase. When you switch the camera to the tank, I think it was, he was wielding a greatsword. And the animations for that greatsword were very different to what we saw in 2022. And I'm not sure it's... I would hope so. It's 2024. It's step in the right direction if i'm being oh brutally my honest. god <laughs> look at the swipes animations have clearly shit. had huge improvements two years guys to the footwork don't get me wrong but it definitely feels like the wow look how crazy those animations are impact of the weapon has been compromised this could all just be old animations from many many builds back of course so i remain optimistic with your progress on this front remember combat is the most crucial part of the game and you've done a thank god he said that because it absolutely is if the combat's garbage we don't care that the caravan system's awesome we don't care that the life skills are awesome or that your questing is somehow good. You know what I mean? Nobody cares because the combat is bad. Really great job with the range side of things. So now it's time to show off the melee and where that really shines. Fast paced, impactful, action style, front line brawling. But as usual, I am just one nerd desperate for a good MMO. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video a little bit more than the last one. I know I've been kind of off this month in general with no streaming and lack of videos, but I am genuinely struggling with Ashes of Creation right now. I obviously still support the game fully and will never... Yeah, I mean, it's really hard to create content for a game that's just not going to come out until 2035. The stop following it, but it's important for me to stay true to my feelings about the project, and Intrepid's open nature allows me to do that. I'm not worried about being a brand risk because I know Intrepid want to listen. But I digress. I'll conclude the video with a quick shill for my stream over at twitch.tv forward slash Narcoverse, as we'll be deep diving the stream on... Right. Oh, he's, he's live. Why show something in the past that was received very, very positively, but then don't ever do it again? Movement speed and attack speed. And with that shout out, so you guys can give him a follow. This is the video right here. It's Dr. Robotnik. I, li I, I love him. I love the fact that he makes these videos because I'll be honest with you, I don't know how he does it, man. I, I, I truly, I do not understand because he's primarily ashes of creation. How? You know what I mean? Like, how are you making this many ashes videos? This is insane, man. Like, I just don't see. I can't. <laughs> All right, that's pretty good. I didn't see the banner before. That's pretty good. It's the personality, 100%. I mean, at least I, he kind of he nailing it, bro. He kind of nailing it.